Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, we are going to create a beautiful texture build animation inside of After Effects. I am going to use lots of effects to create this kind of animation. The process is a little bit complex, but I will try to explain this as simple as I can. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with standard settings. Now take the type tool and type a text you like. Adjust the size of the text and align it to the center. Try to use any script font you like. This type of animation looks good with any kind of script font. Alright, on the text layer, add an effect called linear wipe. Using this effect, you can do simple texture animation like this. First, adjust the angle like this. And change the value to 100%. Then after few seconds, change the value to 0. After that, you can get this type of animation. Also increase the feather value to 400. Let's create an adjustment layer. You can rename it to Smooth Refill. On this layer, add an effect called First Box Blur. Change the blur radius value to 5. Then apply CC Threshold effect on it. Change the Threshold value to 110. Also change the channel to alpha. By the way, you can play with the threshold value to get some different results. Let's add another effect called roughen edges. And here change the factual influence value to zero. We need to create another adjustment layer. Let's call it highlight. First add fill effect on the adjustment layer. And change its color to black. Now on the same layer, add an effect called bevel and alpha. Change the edge thickness value to 15, also change the light intensity value to 1 and adjust the angle the way you like. On the same adjustment layer, add another effect called simple choker and change the choke mad value to 7. It helps to reduce the thickness of the highlight. After that, let's add another effect called solid composite. and change the color to black. Let's add fractional noise effect on the same layer to give a texture effect on the highlight. Then change the complexity value to 3. On the same layer, add another effect called first blocks blur. Change the blur radius value to 2. And at last, add threshold effect again and change the threshold value to 110. After all of this, change the blending mode of this adjustment layer to screen. Now you can see the highlights effect on the text layer. You can play with the threshold value to get your desired effect. This seems good to me. Let's change the static effect to a dynamic one. For doing this, let's create another adjustment layer. You can rename it to Sec. On this adjustment layer, add an effect called Turbulent Displace. First change the displacement type to Blurge. Change the amount value to 3. And change the size value to 40. Game, 
also change the complexity value to 4. To make this animation dynamic, we need to add an expression on the evolution option. For doing that, hold Alt and click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type time multiplier 400. So our main text animation is done. This kind of animation looks much better on 12 frame per second composition. There you can get the choppy feel on the text effect. By the way, to get rid of the black background, you need to apply an effect on the highlight layer. Search for set matte and just double click to apply it on the layer. By doing that, you can get back your original background. Let's select all the layers and pre-compose it. Give it a name you like. Now you can add another solid layer for the background. On the solid layer, add gradient ramp effect on it. Choose the colors you like. You can create another adjustment layer and add noise effect on it. Increase the noise amount a little bit and your text table animation is done. You can create lots of cool stylish text animation with the same technique. So this is all for today. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and stay safe guys.